Goddess Tanit of Ibiza. Welcome back to another episode of Wild Feminine Magic. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the video. Tanit is an ancient African mother goddess of sexuality, fertility and death who is worshipped throughout the Mediterranean. She was honored for her powers of the life-death cycle in Phoenicia, Carthage, Iberia, Libya and even Egypt. Ibiza was her island, a sacred place associated with healing, rebirth and resurrection where Carthaginian nobility and Romans buried their dead at the necropolis at Puig de Moulin. Today, many people still come to Ibiza for the healing and rejuvenation powers of her waters. The island's springs and fountains are said to possess purification, fertility, life and magnetic balance. Tanit's ancient symbols are of dance and creation. Her symbol, known as the symbol of Tanit, is a triangle representing the human body, surmounted by a circle representing the head, and separated by a horizontal line which represents the hands. Tanit has many names that hint of her origins. Tanit, Vinit, Tanis, Rat Tanit, Lady of Carthage, Lady of the Sanctuary, Tinit, Tank, the face of Baal, the heavenly goddess, Tanith, the heavenly virgin. Tanit's many names represent the great goddess as a powerful force and symbol of fertility and fruitfulness. The worship of the goddess Tanit emerged after the 5th century BC. Most scholars treat Tanit as having come from the Phoenician mainland as a descendant of one or more of the great Canaanite goddesses. A few others see her as either originating in North Africa or being a combination of an indigenous North African goddess with one or more of the Phoenician and Canaanite deities. The Phoenicians brought her from Canaan through Carthage and eventually Ibiza, where Ibiza was a colony. She watched over and protected Carthage. Tanit's worship was spread from North Africa to Spain, Malta, and Sardinia. Before her death in 2005, Monica Shu had been working on a book seeking Tanit, African slash Semitic great goddess and her people. This was to be her last great work, in which she explored the origins and mysteries of the African goddess. Her research also shows that Tanit, the African Persephone and preserver of life in the underworld, protector of the dead and giver of resurrection, who says I am the beginning and the end, was the goddess who presided over that world. The Libyan Berber goddess Tanit had connections to Egyptian Nath. Tanit or Nath is originally a Berber Libyan goddess venerated by the Berbers of North Africa from immemorial times. Poets and scholars of all ages knew her as the goddess Nath. There is no doubt that the Nid of the ancient Egyptians, Tanit of the Phoenicians, and Athena of the Greeks were none other than the Libyan goddess Tanit. The goddess Nath is one of the oldest goddesses in the world and her shrine was attested in Egypt from pre-dynastic times. She was the patron deity of the city of Say, in the western Nile Delta of Lower Egypt. Her Berber name Tanit was said to mean Tanit, meaning the land of Nit, in reference to ancient Libya, today's North Africa as a whole, being her original home. According to Herodotus Tanit, was venerated by the Libyan Amazon around Lake Tritonis. The meaning of Nath's name was interpreted in many ways, the most popular of which associates her with water as the personification of the primordial waters of creation and thus she was said to be the creator goddess. The Tanit cult remained strongly rooted in the island of Ibiza, where the goddess was adored until the rise of Christianity, in the 2nd century A.D. Ibiza is the place where more statues of Tanit have been found, especially in the Cova de Colorum in Sant Vicente Sacala. Tanit was the goddess of love, fertility, life, prosperity, harvest, death and the moon. She was not only the goddess of the Carthaginians, but also the sacred island of Ibiza. Tanit was a divinity represented by the lunar crescent, associated with the god of agriculture and therefore, the fertility of the earth, animals and people. She also had the character of a goddess of the underground, health and death, and she was the protector of the deceased. Ibiza is also influenced by Bess, an ancient Egyptian deity worshipped as a protector of households and, in particular, of mothers, children, and childbirth. Worship of Bess spread as far north as the area of Syria and as far west as Ibiza in Spain, and later into the Roman and Achaemenid empires. Bess also came to symbolize the good things in life, music, dance, and sexual pleasure. 
tattoos of Bess could be found on the thighs of dancers, musicians and servant girls. Like many Egyptian gods, the worship of Bess was exported overseas. While the female variant had been more popular in Minoan Crete, the male version would prove popular with the Phoenicians and the ancient Cypriots. The Balearic island of Ibiza derives its name from the god's name, brought along with the first Phoenician settlers in 654 BC. These settlers, amazed at the lack of any sort of venomous creatures on the island, thought it to be the island of Bess, Ibosim, dedicated to Bess. Ibiza also has links to Atlantis and healing. Many ancient islands of the Mediterranean are remnants of the lost civilization of Atlantis. Crete, Santorini, Malta, Ibiza, Sardinga, Canarias. Many healers living on Ibiza today feel the Atlantis connection through the portals on the island and mysterious happenings near S. Phaedra, a tip of Atlantis. We know Ibiza was a great center of mystery and healing, dedicated to Tanit. Tanit wears the caduceus of the healers, and the elderly and sick of Carthage came to the island to be cured or die. The caduceus that is associated with Tanit is a symbolic representation of spiritual truths, growth and healing. Even the natural landmark, S. Phaedra represents balance of the feminine and masculine energies. The caduceus is represented by two intertwining serpents and a nod to the serpent mystery cults and dragon cults of the ancient Mediterranean and Aegean that came from the African goddess cults who worshipped in her association with the primordial waters as life. We see this in the creation myths of Tiamat from the Sumerian civilizations. I believe that the island of Ibiza had a cult of Tanit because the island is one of the lost islands of Atlantis where the teachings of Venus were taught. I believe the island is a living embodiment of the goddess and initiates come to learn the cycles of light and dark through being initiated by her. Tanit remains whole on Ibiza, untouched, unpolluted, left alone to be the beloved goddess of Ibiza, the island of magical women. This ancient island is ready to begin her new path of evolution and step into her role as a portal of light to shine like a beacon as she draws people to cosmic light. That brings us to the end of today's video all about Goddess Tanit of Ibiza. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe to Wild Feminine Magic for even more fascinating content, just like this. As always, thanks for watching. See you again soon in the next one.